On today's episode, we're installing a two-stage pump kit from Munster on the Mini Jet. Welcome back to Favit Adventures guys. Today we're installing a two-stage pump kit from Munster into the old mini jet here. So we're going to show you a little bit how it goes together and hopefully a little bit later on we'll show you the performance from it. So first obviously you get to pull the pump out of the other boat. Just going to remove the original pump body that was in there and then we'll put the impeller that goes with it, so bigger impeller that goes in there and then the outer pump will be a smaller impeller, so I understand, right? We put in the stock wearing an impeller that Munster recommended for us for our application, that's got grease in it it's many, many greases so this is the new, this here is the new pump that you got in the adapter that's the old pump yeah and you're just gonna pull all the guts out of the old pump and then put in the new monster Put in the parts. monster parts we need for the front pump. This will be the boat one, the closest to the boat. So it'll have a 155 mil wearing and impeller. And then this guy gets attached on here. This sort of idea, right? Yeah. Goes there. It goes like that. And this now one's on bolts are on there. Something like that. What she should look like roughly when we're done. Cool, so then you're gonna have two impellers, one bigger impeller here and a smaller impeller here. Yeah. Awesome. So I think the theory behind it is you can suck more water and with the bigger impeller, more shrapnel, and the smaller one compresses it more, giving you more thrust. <laughs> Stuff the new bearing down in, in the new housing. Now you gotta put what two O rings? Yep. Up in there. And then that's what this little cover seals against. Is those couple O rings inside here. Monster supplies some custom built tools for the nut that holds that all together. That's a pretty sweet piece. Hollow nut. Hollow tool. And then we have these BRP supplied tools to help hold things. Wrenches though. Some wrenches. Some wrenches. I wonder what that 
assholes from Turkey. When your elbow clicks, it's probably good. <laughs> That's not a whole lot of torque anymore. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the foot pounds is that the elbow clicks at 70 maybe. Up <laughs> some seals. Then three seals. One, two, three, just like that. Like that? Matches my eyes. <laughs> now we want to use one of these spacers that Monster provides. Oh! Look at that, eh? Should go in there. Stage two.
with these things. Ah, with them long studs. With them long studs right there to bolt the two pump halves together. You screw them into the back with a lock nut, I believe. You ever seen a guy fight with a plastic bag so much? Only in kindergarten. <laughs> My salmon. the old reverse bucket on and the nozzles on now that's just basically a bolt up just got to build a couple of brackets to go basically from this hole here up to here just to stop the wiggle here there we go. we're gonna slap that baby in and we'll have that taken care of So Munster actually does supply a longer extension rod in there, but with the way this is set up and the different reverse bucket that we put on here, we just ended up sliding the cable out of the through hall further out and then just making this bracket. Otherwise, you would have a bracket that Munster supplies to set you up. See the old finished product, both pumps mounted up to the Munster intermediate bracket, if you want to call it that, between the pumps. Munster's adapter bracket, I guess you would call it. Right here in the center, adapts the two pumps, front and rear pumps together. Should be awesome, can't wait to put this bad boy on the water here in a couple of days, give her a go.